hi everyone welcome to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel a warm welcome to all my new subs big up Ginny people i love you okay this is very very devastating right i woke up this morning and i was angry and then i was sad and we all we all feel in the same way and it don't matter what color you are everyone in the world is hurting right now for andrea barat okay the lack the lack of justice that is going on and the corruption that is all the dust is hidden under the rug right may her soul rest in peace and may this situation be an eye-opener for everyone and how they go about their whereabouts okay young ladies be very very careful with what you're doing right and don't let this kind of old thing put a blind eye on you and you don't know what's going on and and all this and all of that please if you have to go somewhere please know the people that you're going with and i would say walk in a group right and these maxi taxis and taxis these things is not safe anymore it was never safe right is there a safe heaven for women in trinidad i don't think so because there, there are no justice when things like this occurs the proof is in the pudding look at what's going on right our own government turned their back on us, right? Please watch this video and analyze things on your own. I'm sorry if I have to post this video about the autopsy results because yesterday it was inconclusive. Now today you get in the real deal to see what really, really happened, okay? And please watch the video because there are an interview and stuff I did and everyone is showing their love towards this young lady and they want justice for her and we are not going to sleep on this we are not sleeping until she gets the justice that she needs okay and this is very devastating that this attorney general what he said right crocodile tears it's not crocodile tears if people is crying and hurting for someone who was dismembered and and just it was so horrific her her death and how she 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 died oh my god have some sympathy i have some sympathy this is not crocodile tears people is crying this is hurt and pain the nation is hurting right now man so everyone please please watch the video and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel i'm going to continue to push positive videos out about what needs to be posted because there's a lot of people who's not posting the good they're only posting the bad and all this and they don't want us to post stuff i'm not scared and i'm not going to live my life in fear okay let's all share this story so this story could be worldwide and every, and it needs to be pushed Damn it. It needs to be pushed. Okay. Love y'all. <laughs> love y'all. Please watch. I wanted the father to be notified and the family to be notified first before I made this information public. And here we go. I could tell you that Professor Daisley report and his findings are not inconclusive. And they found the reason for her death. Andrea was struck on the forehead with something blunt and what that caused she fell back and her skull fractured and there was hemorrhaging inside in fact um, the whole area inside the skull you could see where it was pinkish red which meant that that entire area there was hemorrhaging so uh, so basically she died from internal hemorrhaging um when she got hit to the head she fell backwards and what happened is that her skull fractured and she died also what is interesting and of course 
um, Professor Daisley has to verify this. But um, there was an area on her arm where they found punctures, uh, needle marks. And what the, he has to verify if that was done by the previous pathologist still or if that was an area where Andrea was, um, she was injected. Because on the video itself, in fact, on the picture itself that I saw, there was two puncture wounds and those two, that puncture wound is very visible. So it has to be verified if that occurred before or the pathologist that did the report before um, made that puncture, puncture mark. What is interesting is that if you're doing an autopsy, the entire cavity of the body, the brain, everything is open. So therefore you normally would not have to go through the arm to do a swab or a blood test. So therefore, personally, and I, like I said, I have no training in this field, I doubt that that was made by the pathologist. The fact of whether she was raped or not, that is to be verified. That is to be verified because samples were taken and what happened is that of course, um, it would be verified in about a week's time if she was indeed raped but the facts are clear that this is not inconclusive and what have me really pissed here now is that that pathologist that did that report in such a short space of time the question is how many reports that he she it or whatever did before that were inconclusive and did not give the factual information in terms of what was the cause of death. Because if we could pay, and I thank the two persons that came forward with me to pay for this. Because now, now we know exactly why it happened. A man could come here outside of the forensic center and do an autopsy. And in a few hours time get these findings especially for something as big as this especially for something like this that has made the news that is causing so much protest all over the country so for those of you who are just joining us let me repeat what the what the autopsy report stated andrea was hit to the forehead blunt something hit her hard i'm talking about massive blow to the head fell back and whatever she fell back on her skull was fractured and it caused internal bleeding and hemorrhaging also what happened is that there was an area where the stomach they say that you know there was it, it was a particular color so therefore it showed that either she was not being fed or she was not eating one out of the two so there we have the results and all I could tell you is that I am pissed. Now that we are fed up, we are fed up and we couldn't be bothered. And what is sad about it is that all these people they are going around and just to let you know, wherever you are today, wherever you are, if you're in Port of Spain, if you're in Palmas after studio from 8 o'clock and you're going to have a candlelight vigil, wherever, Coover, do it in your area. No need to rush to Port of Spain. No need to rush in front of the parliament. Do it wherever you are. If you are in Deva, endeavor doing it. Wherever, get, it, get your group of people and walk a little bit. Walk and don't think about this man. Imagine people coming out, people praying for all, all, all the young ladies that 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 that, that went missing. 
Ashanti and Carlin Katwaru and Corin Singh and a gentleman by the name of Indra Indarjad Sukhdev, Kelly and Siratan, Kobe Mohammed, Nick, Nicole Jagan, and all these people come, the relatives of these people among the crowd. And you hear what our Attorney General said in Parliament. Did you hear about that? Go ahead. You see, Madam Speaker, it's all well and good to pick up a candle and hold a vigil. Stop playing games. No need to hold a candle on a pavement crying for a citizen of this country, a child murdered upon the charade to end. The crocodile tears on a pavement after a tragedy do not help the people of Trinidad and Tobago. But so strange in a forest, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Your constituents, I am sure that they are ashamed of you today. I speak for children. And I, think, I, I think they deserve an apology. I think you need to come out and apologize to these people. You need to come out and apologize to little children. And you, and you, you describe it as a surreal. People are not only crying out for, for Andrea Barton. I have a list of names. Ashanti, Carolyn, Corinne, Singh, Kobe, Mohammed, Prince, uh, Princess Philip, Ria Sugde, Shalima Mohammed, Shani Scooper, Shin Lakofi, Susan Maynard, Adam Katwaru, Alan Mohammed, Anand Raj, Avalon Adolphus, Avril Blake, Donna Mirage, Juliet Tam, Kat, it just goes on and on, Katyan Kato, Kim Rajam Logan, Leah Lamy, Nile, well, uh, Pritam Singh, Rihanna Parag, Shannon Sukram, Vijay Pasal, it just goes on. Hi everybody, me again. So, um, I wanted to just extend my thanks and gratitude to people who have been organising, facilitating and attending these various events around Trinidad and with uh, vigils, protests, any form of action people want to take to let their voices be heard, let their sentiments be heard. Uh, even if it's a simple thing like wearing red, going out your door and playing positive music to uplift women, just anything. I, I want to say thank you to, to all those people. And I want to encourage those who are yet to join the movement to please, please do it. Share flyer advertising these protests on your on your personal page people who have a platform influencers uh our celebrities soca artists band leaders fet promoters you all have so much power so much influence come no man have no carnival this year so let's use that time and use your power of influence to to encourage people to speak out I understand that people have their own dealing with their own stuff. This might be a very triggering topic for a lot of people. So you may not be able to find your own voice and put your thoughts together. I understand that. This is a triggering topic for me. So I get it. I totally, totally get it. But you could share a flyer, put a flyer in your stories to promote an event that someone else has organized, vigils, etc. They're going around all over the country. Please find find people with who have platforms and power of influence. People who have skills like events management, fet promoters, band leaders. You all know how to rally people. You all have contacts. This is your expertise organizing events, and we are hearing all you. Yeah. We we need we need we need to keep this momentum going because. Trinidadians have a way, they have short term memories. They just rant and wave and scream and shout for a few days, a week max, and then it will all die out. And we need to keep the momentum going. This is the first time ever people actually taking action on coming out. We're coming together to demand change. Let's try and keep it going because this is so important. It's so important that this happens. We need to do it for our children for the next generation we need to do it for ourselves mm -hmm. the way people live in Trinidad is not normal 
the fact that you're scared you're always looking over your shoulder you're living in burger proof house you're afraid to open your back door in broad daylight you're afraid to go in there anywhere by yourself it's not normal the amount of bubble and corruption in our systems from parliament go down police magistrates uh, the courts it it's not normal it's not and what is also not normal is for population to accept these these things and a lot of this is our fault we can't point finger at rowley and faris and kamala and whoever no more we can't because we vote in them in and we're allowing them to do these things without holding them accountable so it's our turn now let me use the fact that they don't have no carnival to reflect and focus on these things and I want to see more from Soka artists. I find all it too quiet. Come now, man. You have a platform. You have the most you have the most influence on our culture and our people than I think anybody else. So let me hear you. Let me hear you. Please. And I want to again I want to thank everybody who's been involved and attending these rallies and these protests or doing anything. Yeah, little thing, talking in their groups, encouraging their friends to share flyers or any little thing that you have done to make this heard thank you and let's keep on keep doing it.